Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I got this look. This is my everyday go-to makeup look for summer. When you still want to look put together, it's not full, full glam, but it's still very, very pretty. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. So I'm going to start off with my one heck of a bolt primer by Soap and Glory. I'm just going to start by putting this mainly in my T-zone because that's where I get the oiliest. And then I'm going to spread it out throughout the rest of my face. I love this primer. And then I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color 322. It's my favorite, favorite foundation. It keeps me pretty, pretty matte and I like the coverage it gives and it's only like five dollars. I just picked up another one today and it was on sale for four. So I'm just going to be using my Real, Ten Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I'm going to be blending this all over my face and down my neck. It's my favorite way to apply foundation because it just makes it go on so seamlessly and smooth and you don't have the brush lines. Next I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Sorry, it's kind of dingy looking. This is in the color, or in the shade Sand. I'm making triangles underneath my eyes, down the center of my nose, or the bridge of my nose, the forehead, Cupid's bow, and the chin. Sorry, excuse me, I sneezed. Next I'm going to be using the same sponge and I'm just going to be blending this out. Sorry if you can hear some background noise. We have the dishwasher going. Now I'm going to be using my Cody Airspun Translu Translucent Powder. You can pick this up at Walmart for like five or six bucks. It's one of my favorites when you don't want to splurge on the Laura Mercier one. So I'm just going to be setting everywhere. I just put the concealer. Now I'm going to be using my Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to be taking this color right here on a big fluffy um, blending brush and I'm just going to be putting that in the crease using windshield wiper motions and just blending until I like the way it looks. Next I'm going to be using this color and I'm basically going to put it in the same exact spot. Mainly focusing on the outer V of my eye. Just gives the eye a little bit more depth and gives it kind of a smoky look but not anything too too dramatic and I'm also using the same brush that one I believe is from Wet n Wild it was like a dollar or two and I really like it now I'm just picking up a little bit more product and I'm gonna drag it underneath the eye as well because you kinda want the top the bottom to match the top next I'm gonna be picking up this darker shade of brown from the same palette and I'm going to focus this on the outer V and just blend away until you can't blend anymore and it's always better to start off with a little bit and then build up to it because you don't want to put too too much and then it's harder to blend it away so start with a little and then just add until you get the desired look. Now I'm taking the same brush I used earlier and I'm just going to blend that out. The brush I used previously was from BH. It came in like a little kit. Now I'm going to be mixing these two shadows and putting that on the eyelid, just packing it until I get the look I want. 
I'm also going to use that to highlight the brow bone. Now I'm going back to the original brush that I used and I'm going to blend everything out even more. Next I'm going to be using my NYX Matte Eyeliner. It's one of my favorites. I love the way it looks and it dries super matte and it's very easy to use. And of course it's drugstore so it's pretty affordable. And I'm just going to start out by lining the lash line. Next I'm going to be using my Benefit Roller Lash. I explained in a previous video that I got this as a sample from Ulta for my birthday and it's one of my favorites. Next I'm going to be using the Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. They're my favorite. I feel like they go with a simple look, a no makeup, makeup look if you still want to wear lashes, a super super glam look. They're just my favorite. Luster Lux or Katie talked about these and I've been hooked ever since. Aren't they so pretty? Eyelashes make such a difference to me. Next I'm going to be taking my Tarte Bronzer. I don't remember the shade it is, but I will leave it down below. I'm just going to be putting that in kind of the hollows of my cheeks. I'm not really contouring just yet. I'm just bronzing up the face to give it more of a sun-kissed look. I feel like when you don't use bronzer, it, your face just looks kind of flat because there's no definition to it. I'm going to put that on the temples, the jawline, and just blend it until you like the way it looks. I don't know how many times I can say blend it. Now I'm going to be using the Nude Eyeliner by Rimmel. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to put this in the waterline. It gives you a real doe-eyed effect. Next, this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. It's one of my favorites for the bottom lashes. Now I'm going to be using my the Manizer Sisters by The Balm, the Trio. I'm going to use the highlighter shade. I think it was Mary Lou. I'm going to put that on the cheekbones, the nose. This is more of a subtle highlighter in my opinion, so you of course you can pack it on. You can also spray your butt your brush, I'm sorry, with some Fix Plus or a setting spray and it will give it a little bit kapow, you know? I'm also going to use that as the inner corner highlight. This is uh, the Milani blush in Luminoso. So pretty. Gives a real nice sheen and shimmer to the skin. Next I'm going to be using this NYX Butter Gloss. I think it's creme brulee, but I'm not 100% sure, but I will definitely leave it down in the description box for you guys. And here is the finished look. It doesn't take very long. It's still super, super pretty. And I just, I really love the way this look is, so that's why I do it when I don't feel like putting on a ton of makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.